What's going on, everybody? Soul Yacker here. And um, if you don't know, I, I I do like Up Church. Up Church, he's an amazing uh, country rap or a southern rap artist. And um, there was a video he just did, I believe it was yesterday. We're going to play a little clip just so that um, you there's some context about this. Do you know what rhymes with country rap money grab? Do you know what rhymes with hick hop? Bitch, stop. But here's the thing. I don't like how it's categorized. I feel like now there's two things the term country rap is used for. If somebody's trying to come into country rap because they don't want to be a rapper or they don't want to be a singer-singer, and they're like, well, fuck it, I'll just do country rap. The pool for country rap is so small, I'll just, it'll be easy to be big as fucking country rap. Yes, I'm just going to say I'm a country rapper. Yee fucking yee. And I also feel like the term country rap is used for when someone is a, another rapper and is intimidated. Now, to me, is there a difference between country rap and southern hip hop? Yes, there is a difference. Country rap should be rap music with country elements. And when I say country elements, I don't mean you just show up with some fucking big ass bucket boots on and a fucking cut off shirt and a shotgun and drinking a beer. That's not country element. That's just you dressing up what you think you have to dress up like to cater to country people. If something is a country rap song, it is a hip hop or rap beat. <laughs> that's properly mixed with strings like banjos, guitars. All these motherfuckers are like, oh yeah, this is the formula. No, you know what the formula is to this shit? Not having a formula. You being a real motherfucker and just saying shit about what you know, dude. And with this whole new wave of country rap, I feel like there's 1,500 fucking rappers wearing a bedazzled cowboy hat going, hey, hey, can I have a dollar? Here, look, I said yee yee and fucking something about a hay bale, give me a dollar. And I feel like there's only a handful of us that, that actually gives a shit, that cares about, you know, what we leave behind after we're dead. I already got money, bro. I don't fucking need money. I ain't bitching just a bitch. I'm bitching because it actually pisses me off, bro. I love Southern rap music. Now, that being said, today, and we're, I'm thinking we're talking, this is roughly about an hour old. Um, I guess one of his fans sent him a link to a Vanilla Ice video. Well, for me, I grew up with Vanilla Ice going back to, you know, Ice Ice Baby. And I've seen his transformation of him going through a bunch of stuff in his life. And he went from, you know, rap or rap. Then he went to rock. And now he is jumping into country rap. Whoever you, Vanilla Ice, you guys were like, hey, let's make this video. I'm not gonna ruin this. I, I, I think Upchurch says it the best. I'm not gonna play this whole video of Ryan Upchurch and what he says, but I am gonna play some very, 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 very hilarious clips. Links will be in the description. Go to Ryan Up Church. Tell him Solo Yacker sent you, or the Arm Fisherman, not Solo Yacker, the Arm Fisherman. Tell him the Arm Fisherman sent you, because um, I'm gonna tell you this shit's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Ryan Up Church, you the man. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep exposing all these 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 money grabbing people that are getting into your genre and creating a shit show this is a shit show of the video and i had respect for vanilla ice at one point this this video he did gone done vanilla ice you need to go ahead and retire i'm not saying you're you need to figure out who you are you are not country rap you are from miami or at least so you say you're from miami but anyway let's get into this video don't forget hit that like share and that subscribe button. Go over to Ryan Up Church. Make sure you hit his like, share, and um, subscribe button. And um, like I said, links will all be in the description of all the videos and all that good stuff. So I'm going to get out of here. Solo Yacker. Deuces. <laughs> Where did you even find this at?
All right, what are we looking at? What's up, partner? Hey, what can I do for you today? Jesus fucking Christ. I got cash and I need to buy a horse. All right, bye. Why? Why? This is how you start your fucking damn video? Man, fuck y'all. Look like y'all are about to film a high dollar hillbilly porn. All right, people, look, here's the deal. We have a $400 budget. We need Clydesdale Karina to get dicked down in Dallas by Corn on the Cob Rob. A horse? You don't look like you can ride no horse. Actually, it's not gonna be a real horse. We uh, hired in a furry off OnlyFans. $50 an hour, 30 minutes, 25 bucks. Can't beat it. But on a serious note, are you fucking kidding me? This is how you start the video. You walk into a fucking room that looks like someone just shit John Deere everywhere all over the fucking walls. So you walk into John Deere Greenland, walk up to the counter where this dude's obviously fucking dressed up in something he never wears ever. And you're like, hey man, I got some fucking money. Can I buy a goddamn horse over this counter? I need a fucking horse. It looks like a cross between Grand Theft Auto V and Red Dead Redemption gameplay. Okay, listen to me, Vanilla Ice. You just walked in what looks like a fucking Gatlinburg gift shop and walked up to a counter with a camouflage Waffle House shirt on. Trying to buy a horse over the counter with 200 fucking dollars. Have you ever had a horse burger? Never had a horse burger. The video is called Ride the Horse and in the video, nobody rides a horse. Do you see why everyone thinks this is a fucking gimmick? 